Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a simple menu for your Unity game. So as you can see, I have a little uh, game set up here where you run around collecting coins. Uh, this was part of our last tutorial video. So if anything here uh, looks interesting to you, make sure to check it out. But today I'm going to create a little title menu for this game so uh, you have something to look at before you actually get into the game. To do this I'm going to my scenes folder and I'm going to create a scene and I'll call it title and I'm just gonna open up that scene and as you can see it's just a blank scene with only a camera and since I'm just doing a simple scene here I'm just gonna change the background color to something a little more uh, pleasing. I'll just do a dark gray. And the first thing I want to do is I want to add a title for the game. And to do that, I am just adding this Text Mesh Pro element. If you do not have Text Mesh Pro, you can get it by going to the Package Manager and searching for text mesh pro and installing. So when I create this, a canvas object gets created as well. And I'm just going to call this title and I'll call this, I don't know, tutorial game. And usually what I like to do with this is disable the wrapping. I center, the text and I'll make the title a little bigger, maybe bold and I'll move it up a couple pixels. All right, we got our title. So now we just need a button so we can start the game. So I'm going to go ahead and go to UI button text mesh pro and I actually don't need the text on that. And I'm going to call this button start game. And I actually went through and made some art for a couple of the buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and use that for this one by selecting a sprite for the uh, image component here. And I'll choose that and I'll set it to native size so it doesn't look all distorted. And it's just a simple play button UI. And I'm actually gonna add my little uh, texture here. That way it just matches the rest of the game a little better. And down here under the button component, I actually don't want a color tint, I want to sprite swap. And when it's pressed, I want it to change to this pressed in version of the sprite. So if we play the game and I click on it, there you go. You can see it swapping out the sprite when I click it. I'm not the best artist in the world, so it might look a little funny, but uh, as far as information goes, that's how you do that. So when we click on it, we want it to start our game in that first level that we have. So to do that, I'm actually going to add a script called start game, and I will go ahead and open that in Visual Studio. All right, now that we got our start game script open, we can add using unity engine dot scene management to the top of our script. And what I'll want here is a public string and I'll call it level name and that'll just be whatever the name is of the scene that we want to load after clicking the button and I'm going to make a public void load a level function and this will be the function that gets called whenever we click that button and what we can do here 
is go scene manager dot load scene level name. And now whenever we click the button and it calls this function, it will load whatever level we give it. So let's go back to Unity and set that up. So now that we're in Unity, I'm gonna go back here and my other scene, I've just been using the sample scene, but I'll just call it, I'm gonna rename it to level one. And the level we wanna call is level one. And I'm clicking the plus to add a event on click. And we're gonna select the function in our start game script called load level, which should load level one. So if I save this and play the game, now I can click on that. Ooh, and I got a error in the console. Let's see what that is. Oh yeah. So in order for this to work, you have to go into your build settings and you'll have to add all the scenes you want in your final game. So I'm adding the title uh, scene first because that's the first scene I want the game to load in with. And I'm also adding the level one scene so we have somewhere to go when we click the button. So if we try this again, it should work. And there you go. Now you started your game. Awesome. So that works. The next thing you might want to do is maybe you'll have like a settings menu and you'll want to have a button here to click to bring up the settings menu so you could adjust some stuff. So let's go ahead and try that out. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a simple settings menu. Um, I'm not going to go too crazy on it, but here we go. Also, I always forget to change this, but what I usually want to do is change the canvas scaler to scale with screen size. And I usually set it to 1920 by 1080. Um, expand. Uh, there's probably a better way to do that, but that's usually what I go with. All right. Now that I got a little settings menu here where you could uh, theoretically change the volume of your game. Um, that's not actually hooked up. It's just a representation of what you could have. Let's go ahead and add, actually, you know what? I should probably fix this too. Okay, that looks a little better. So now that we have our little settings menu, I'm gonna go ahead and I like, just to make it easy, I'm duplicating our start game button. All right, that looks okay. And I'm gonna select our settings icon. And for the sprite swap, I'm gonna select the pressed version of that icon. And we can remove this start game script. And for this on click event, I'm gonna actually want to take our settings menu game object and put it in there. And then I can do a set active to true. And I can change that. So I just renamed our button to settings, added the settings menu to the on click event, and I am setting it to true. So if we go ahead and start our game and we click on that button, our settings will now come up and we can adjust them. But now we want to be able to close our settings, but there's no way of doing that. So let's go ahead and add a button for that. 
under our settings menu, I'm going to go ahead and add a button dash text mesh pro. Here I'm going to say, I'm just going to call it close. I don't have any special art for a close button yet. So maybe in the future. All right, our button is uh, pretty big and doesn't look very good, but it should work out just fine. So when we want to, what we want to do is when we click on the button, we want it to close the settings menu. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding an on click event, dragging our settings menu there. And like we did with the other button, I'm clicking set active, but I'm not checking the box here. So that should set it to false. So if I disable that, go back into our game and we try it, I can click on our settings, adjust our volume and close it and start our game. If you like this video and want to learn more, feel free to subscribe or check out my other videos on Unity game development. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.